Is this a real voltage? It is on a bare copper wire that isn't connected to anything. Although it's in close proximity to this black wire that has 120 volts on it, it isn't actually connected to it. This is a ghost voltage. In this video, I'll explain what a ghost voltage is, how you can use a low Z meter to detect it, and a little theory about how low Z works. By the way, don't try this at home. This is for demonstration purposes only, and I will be using safety measures such as an isolation transformer and will be wearing rubber gloves. What is a ghost voltage? It is a voltage that appears on an undefined conductor due to proximity to other conductors or magnetic induction. Although you can detect such a voltage with a regular voltmeter, its ability to supply current is very weak. Therefore, if you put a load on this voltage, it can almost completely disappear. A common scenario would be that of a piece of wire in a Romex bundle that isn't connected to anything, such as this ground wire right here. We have a 120 volt source where this is neutral and this is L1 or 120 volts. Note that this voltmeter is set for traditional voltage reading mode where one side is connected to neutral and the other side is connected to that ground wire which is again is not connected to anything but is just in close proximity to this black wire which has 120 volts potential connected to it. Shouldn't have any voltage on it at all. However, because of the proximity to the black wire and the capacitive coupling between the two, we're reading about 31 volts. This voltage has almost no ability to provide any current. However, when this meter is in regular voltage reading mode, it's greater than 5 million ohm input resistance, puts practically no load on the wire, and thus reads the ghost voltage. Now, if we switch to low Z mode, you'll notice that the voltage reading is now zero because we're using low Z mode, which has an input resistance of just over 3000 ohms. A relatively heavy load is placed on the ghost voltage and it disappears. Therefore, by using low Z, we have easily determined that what we were reading was a ghost voltage. So a little about low Z theory. Whenever you read something with your meter, you create a series circuit, or two loads, where the original voltage source is roughly split up among the two loads. The highest resistance gets the most voltage, whereas the remaining resistance gets the difference. So when measuring ghost voltages, your meter, having a greater than a 5 million ohm input resistance, may still read most or all of the original voltage source, making you think that what you have is a solid voltage. However, low Z brings things into light. The low input resistance, typically around 3000 ohms, of the low Z mode puts a load on the circuit, letting you know that you have a problem. For a full explanation about low Z theory, click the link down below in the description of this video. And to purchase a quality low Z meter like this one, there is also a link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.